Hi everyone, it's Burak from Trading Channels, 11th of July and I'm back with the weekend video. I do these videos every every evening actually, um, not as detailed as this one, but still uh, I make a video on, on all the 14 markets that we follow regularly, basically on stock indices, forex and commodities. And there's also another service that is the stocks, individual stock service. So if you want to check them out, click on here, free, free trial, subscribe. There's a 10 days trial on both packages. So let's go ahead and see what ES is up to this week. And that, that red broken resistance, you can see here. I mean, this long term trend is still up. And I've been hunting the supports every time at the at every dip with my lines. I'm trying to hunt them down. And basically, this this was the last one. This red broken resistance um, basically came down for a second backtest. You can see this was the first backtest after the brief breakout. And this was the second one. And then uh, ES pushed higher and got to a new all-time high. And uh, I think the immediate target is the green top band, which already has one, two, three touches. And the fourth one may even clear it to get to the golden top band, which will kind of become, I guess it's going to become a strong resistance. But you can see here, every time it touches a resistance, it, it basically consolidates and keeps on pushing. S hitting resistances are no reason to short a market break of supports yes when when you're looking into really um even short term or long term when you when you see strong supports breaking yes but um then you end up also maybe at some point hitting some other supports on the way because the trend is up so there's always a danger of falling into very very um you know traps or for 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 bears and uh, that's why i haven't been advocating entering into shorts since the break of some downtrend uh during the covid crash so this was a trend and then it went up after breaking some trends that that basically formed right here and since then it's been going up and up and all all the trends trend lines and the supports that we have over the first over the first um, couple of months, and then uh, some sort of a, a consolidation, and kept on pushing. And the lines for this one, and now all on on this part of the trend, they're all holding. And you can see here this golden support. As long as these supports are holding, there's no reason for me to enter any shorts. I would just keep on buying the dips and this last one was the red one so let's see how it goes but to me uh, this market is not entering into a bearish mood just not yet mm. so when it does i'm going to have a serious look into shorting this market and here the dow first um, it faked the break out of this bull flag. Okay, so it was broken and it then it went back into the channel the golden channel Okay, so that's why I got stopped. I mean not not taking a loss, but because this was the entry on the on the long Like here. This was the entry of the long and then we I closed half of the position and then around here, I think I, I got stopped because I thought it's going to keep on coming down just because it went into the golden channel. But now it's gone back above and it's gone back beyond the golden channel. And that golden channel is invalid now because it's been breached too many times. What I have here is probably a kind of a rail resistance. This is the bottom rail and the second one, the top one is here. Maybe we see a pullback from here. And then break to the upside that would be uh, also a nice long entry signal um, Nasdaq is all you know gave the best um, best bullish signal by staying within the red channel you can see here red red and the red bottom band touch and after that you can see here let's go on the one hourly chart it cleared the 
blue resistance, cleared it, back tested actually almost twice, and then finally it cleared this green diagonal resistance one, two, three, four touches, and then smashed that on Friday. So NASDAQ is the one to watch. Now clearly this green resistance break, okay, I, I've talked about this many, many times, especially after the red bottom band touch, that if the red resistance breaks, then we're gonna keep on going higher and higher um, until NASDAQ touches this golden top band at just below 15,500. Okay, this is the, the, the trend. Okay, the, the bottom band touches here, the top band here, and I think we're gonna see a third touch. Let me just look on the four hourly and you'll see what I mean. That golden top band is right here at 15,000, just below 15,500. And yeah, yeah, there is more to go. Russell um, has been moving below the purple perfect resistance with three touches and the green support. I was hoping that we're going to see a dive to the golden bottom band together with the green and in, at 2150 so that we can buy and really push higher. That's not what happened. It already broke out of the red bull flag. You can see here, oops. You can see here the red top band is broken. The red bottom band was right here. I was hoping that we're gonna get a bounce off this because of the top band two touches. And that's exactly what happened. Now it's broken out. If it surges, to the golden resistance you can see here now the golden internal support may become a resistance so if it gets all the way there to to around 2310 or something and then come back for a back test i would be of course interested in buying depending on where it happened where the back test happens so i'll be watching that red bull flag clearly a break off the purple resistance would also be an incredibly accurate and perfect uh, long signal at the breakout. FTSE here had also tricked me because it broke the green perfect channel. Okay, the green top band right here. And it broke it to the downside and the remaining half long, I got stopped out on the remaining half long that I had. Now um, there is probably the golden resistance, maybe some pullback and later on break to the upside, that would also become a bull flag, sorry, a bullish signal, a buying signal. And looking at the green channel now, it's not valid anymore. It's probably doing some other things that I can't clearly see. So I would be looking into things like this now, as long as, you know, if the golden, especially the red top band, if they're all broken, I'm, I still believe FTSE has a bit more upside to 7,400 where there is a COVID crash gap. Okay, it's going to fill that gap at least. And the perfect bounce off the golden bottom band by DAX came right, right there. Look at this. That, that bounce was amazing. And now the red resistance will be broken in, in my opinion. And we're going to get to a new high. 16,000 and even possible to the golden top band at, well, below 17,000, but 16,500 plus. Let's have a look at oil. This is US oil. Um, it was breaking the blue resistance this week, faked it so far, but it still managed to now pushing it again. You can see here, this is now trying to break again after finding some supports at the green so the green bear flag was broken remember and then it, it it is so strong that it went back into the broken bear flag that is as bullish as it gets and this is brent oil it had already broken the purple huge bull flag from 2008 high it's broken out now the veg the blue veg that was a sharp and it was already stuck in in a range it's broken this kind of you know breathing in and out is quite healthy 
I'm hoping that we're going to see some touch or back test on the 70 level from Brent so that we can buy oil. And that gas is still suppressed under the red resistance. You can see here that red resistance is from 2008. And you can see here this is quite an accurate resistance. And I don't think it's going to hold for very long. The blue top band is speculative resistance so if it does hold then we'll see we should see a very big drop but i don't think it's gonna hold um it's just a gut feeling i don't know but if it does hold of course i would be very careful about the downside again i think the ultimate target is the green excuse me the green top band right around five okay for for nasdaq uh, sorry, nat gas, and then probably see, we will see a deeper, deeper pullback. And gold is looking extremely bullish in my view. Let me show you here. One second. A little bit more longer term, we have to see this golden support. Okay. One second. All right, this golden support rail right here. No, not that one, but this one here and this one there just recently together with the red support that was the diagonal support you can see here this was the perfect support and then later on it cleared the blue internal resistance and this blue channel is a three tier three floor channel you can see this is the first floor second floor and the third floor and now the third floor is already done has already done its job now it's within the second floor and probably it's going to get back onto the first floor, push and break out. That's what I'm expecting. The green one, I'm not sure. The green bottom man has to hold for a move into the blue. And then later on, we will see what we what happens with the green. I'm not a big, big fan of the green, but definitely the moment it breaks out of the blue top band, now, maybe we will see one more dive after the blue touch. And then later on break out would call for a major buy signal, okay? And silver had bounced off the golden support zone. And it's right there again. The green plus red resistances are holding. A move to clean the red would look very bullish. And obviously the green top bands break would call um, a rally towards 3031 okay downside wise the purple channel is still a bull flag and it may get touched on the purple bottom band we can't rule that out i don't think it's likely but it's still a possibility to get to 2250 we can't rule that out and actually if it gets there i'm going to be a big buyer of silver but i don't think it's going to happen i think we have more upside towards 3031 and platinum, I'm ma massively long platinum. And from 1000 and I added at 1051. Right here at the bounce of the green and the red. Okay, and now I suspect, I, I, I expect the, green, the golden resistance to be broken. Okay, the black one is speculative resistance. But ultimately, I still expect a run to the green top band, maybe a pullback and then break to the upside to get to fifteen sixteen hundred dollars over the next couple of months so it's a long-term position i've been holding since one thousand dollars here euro um bounced off the golden button man look at this i showed this one in last week's video um and now it also cleared the green bull flag okay that blue bull flag is an imperfect bull flag because of a little bit of an outsider here but still maybe the black top band will hold we'll see a pullback and then break to the upside so i'm i'm bearish on us dollar still and clearly bullish on everything else so and euro is one of them there is still a little possibility and like a sl small possibility of breaking the blue diagonal support which is that's why i'm saying very small i don't think it will but if it wants to form the red bull flag then it may touch 116 again but 
right now I don't see it happening and I think there is more upside towards the red and then break to the upside towards 129 130 is the minimum target and I'm heavily long pound sterling and the reason is this red internal support clearly the green bull flag okay that gold bull flag is going to be broken in my view and pound sterling is going to get to 150 155 this red support is holding you can see here just like this week's laws to two laws still holding the golden perfect channel was broken to the upside came back for two back tests and you can see and then it moved higher again after breaking the blue resistance so all in all you can see my my technique is very very visual I don't use any indicators and nothing else it's just a visual and visual is when the market does what I expect him to do I mean I'm not making the making up these lines these lines are there but formed by the market I'm only highlighting them and this this you know this golden top band I didn't plot this this line has been plotted by the market and the back test is the same so as long as you can capture I mean that's what I try to do with your method what the market is up for up to then then you may be able to also profit and look at this this is a huge green candlestick minimum target is this this commentary the fed commentary um sell-off minimum target is 141 okay so i'm holding that and i think the minimum then after that if we smash the 142 level 142.50 there is no stopping uh pound sterling okay uh and you start japanese yen big big thing happened because the blue rail that i've been pointing out for quite some time for the last two weeks actually look at this, this is a daily chart kept on going now the blue support is broken and that's why i think in back test at one one ten fifty and then probably the to the dive to the golden bottom band maybe bounce and then later on break to the downside is possible so um it, the break of the blue support was very very important i'm going to show only kv which is i think very very important it's ready it's getting ready for a massive run up and the reason is this blue channel from the march last year laws this year is a confirmation bounce look at that it doesn't get any better than that the green support is there and now the golden maybe the golden resistance will hold we'll see a pullback and then break to the upside 80 zero point eight now we're at point seven so that's a thousand um pips if you are interested i think kiwi is going to run big time all right let's have a look at lastly but you know the the, the bitcoin and ethereum bitcoin topped at the golden top band which i had warned a few times during these touches and i said i i didn't say it's going to reverse i said if it reverses it will break the red channel that will be the proof that it has reversed and that's exactly what happened the red bottom band you can see here i'm going to zoom in now that red channels break come on why is it not? all right here okay that red channels break the red top band the bottom band that was the 30 30 uh, percent 40 percent you remember huge drop and that's exactly why i mean when a support like this breaks that that opens the way for more downside and later on it also cleared the blue support okay initial bounce broken and back tested that blue support um the black resistance i'm not a big fan of that resistance but to me it looks like it's breaking I think the ultimate support is here like everyone would would agree i guess because everyone would be seeing like a um, head and shoulders i don't do that head and shoulders stuff but this is undeniable right 
so that support this green support is if it breaks then it will open the way for 20 or sixteen thousand dollars so there is that um, the only way this can turn very bullish again would be if it can break blue resistance and then the golden top band and keep on pushing higher that is the only way bitcoin can still you know keep on running of course it has to happen without breaking the green support and last but not least is ethereum um, ethereum what gave the only hope uh, when it bounced off the red bottom band when it bounced off the red bottom band and it stayed out of the golden broken channel so this was the huge channel that was you can see broken back tested and this was a very deep back test but it managed to stay inside the, in or outside the golden or above the golden top band but later on which was very scary and it still is the golden plus the red that red channel is exemplary one two three touches at its bottom and two touches at the top now it's broken and it's all also even back tested if the blue bottom band breaks wow there is big downside i'm sorry but that's how i see it and i know many many of you don't like this but um line is a line channel is a channel yes it they they also i mean uh trends trend lines are there also on on cryptos now okay so there is that i hope you have the good rest of the weekend uh, i'm ready for the england's game and keep in touch um i'm at trading channels bye guys